So every time I would go out to work on the van to remodel, I would feel like I was failing. I, oh, what you got? You got to say cheese. I couldn't get anything done. Cheese, cheese, Donut mouth. Cheese. Uh, because I wanted to redo the floor, and then I put the stow and go seat in, so I couldn't redo the floor. And then I realized t today the reason I can't redo that much in it is because I'm happy with it. So I made a few changes, but not that many. So now I've got it put back together, and I'm going to stay with it, stick with it. Usually when I come home, I want to change everything. And I felt like this time that that's what I wanted to do. But there's just not that much I changed. It's just not that much I changed in it. So I'm going to say the few things I did change. But it's not really some remodeling, but not that big a deal. Not that big a remodel. So. <laughs> All right. Here's the things I did change. Van in child mode with the seat popped up. Just can transport one child though. <laughs> okay, just a quick video because it's not really a van tour. It's an updated van. I liked having my pantry back here, so my shelves went back here after I'd taken them out. I decided I liked them back there. But I was going to have to put a lip on the front of those shelves because my canisters would fall. But now with those baskets, they I've been driving around with it, and they stay in place really well. Then, of course, I put that two-burner propane up here because propane's cheaper than butane. I ordered a longer hose so that I could put my propane tank back in the back. I had, it, had put it here, and I didn't like it. And then I clip that in place with a little clippy thing there so the stove is really good stationary still need to touch up some paint but i'll get to that so that pretty much stayed the same except of course my kitchen's on this side instead of the other side and it's taken me some get used to not to open this door and get in i'm um, having to go around it's taken some get used to so I had built, put this shelf up there and put my fridge on it, and I didn't like it up there, but I did feel like that was wasted space, so I had another one of those units like that, so I put that up front, it gives me a lot of storage there, and then there's my fridge there in front of that, and then my um, deep cycle battery is there, I've got to get on Amazon and order the stuff to so it can um, run my fridge. Of course, I'm going to order a battery box and all for it. So, that's my battery, my deep cycle battery there. I didn't change a lot back here in my garage, except I cleaned out from under there, and I didn't have that much stuff. I just had it strode. So, now my clothes fit under there. I don't know if I like them there or not. They've always been under my bed, but that gives me a lot more space under my bed up there in case I need to store something else there. And I've got my one burner butane back here. So if I do want to cook outside, I could pull my table out there from under my bed and cook my butane stored over there. If I don't cook that much out here anymore, that spice rack, I think I'll turn it around and that'll give me a bedside cabinet to put things like toiletries and all in beside my bed. So I may turn that around. I don't know, I'll see. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. And then over on this side, pretty much everything's the same. I told you I've reversed my kitchen and put it over there, that I'm getting used to that. And I had always slept on that baby bed mattress, a baby bed mattress, and it had springs in it. Well, I got to where I could feel the springs. I guess a baby bed's made, mattress is made for a baby. But it lasted a long time, but it just, it wasn't as comfortable. So I could have put the foam that I've got there on it, but then I wouldn't have had the head space. So I just went with the foam. I changed out, I had a big comforter back there, and it was hard to make the bed with the big comforter. So this um, blanket slash rug, I don't know if they're blankets or rugs, they're really about too rough to me to be blankets, but I bought that in 
Texas. So I put that on my bed. And then I have that same one on my floor that I've always had. My daughter bought it from Mexico. So I have that one on the floor. And I have one out here that my daughter-in-law gave me that I was going to use inside. But it was soft and it slid. Nevada has spilled popcorn. And it slid. So I found out west it was great outside. You could just um, pick it up and shake the dirt off. And then, you know, you could throw it in the washing machine. So it was great. I um, took all my drawers out and cleaned them. And my spice drawer, honey, had spilled. And then I guess I still had Arizona dust in the other drawers. So I took those out and cleaned them. And this is where my fridge is at from this side. And the shelf there, it gives me a lot of space in those, in those drawers. I put my little small battery packs and chargers and cords and things like that in there and then i reversed the hinges on my stow and go because it used to would open it that way so i reversed the hinges and now it's easy to open just open it like that it needs organizing that's on my list to do organize it but right now it's a mess i gotta wash that rug too it's got something on it seems like you're always having a vacuum or wash or wash rugs on the floor and all so my towel stayed there they've always worked right there and my fan stayed there my sink i when i cut it and put my sink in it didn't fit down in there so well so we redid it so it fits down in there good i'm still debating on whether i like it like that and just empty it or if i want to do a drain and do a gray water it wasn't bad not having the gray water tank. I just take it and empty it. And then when I pull the sink out, I can get to my tank under there to fill it, fill my water good too with my funnel. So that has worked. And I, I'm just, I think I'm happy with it. I think I'm going to go with it. It's Like I said, it's nice to be able to come home and, think that you're failing at remodeling and then it just don't on you well i'm not failing it's just that i kind of like it i still have all my space i like all my space so i think that's basically what happened is i is that i was pretty happy with it the way it was while i traveled this past seven weeks and so i think i'm ready to give it a trial run so i may i gotta check the weather May head, I don't like cold. May head to North Georgia, Georgia, next week. Check out some, chase a few waterfalls. She could care less. She's out there. These country youngins. She's out there playing in the dirt. So she says she's a princess, but she's a princess that likes to play in the dirt. Nevaeh, what are you doing? Do what? You playing in the dirt? I thought you were a princess. I am. Oh, so you're a princess that likes to play in the dirt? Yeah. Huh? Do princesses play in the dirt? Yeah. I didn't know that. They like dirt? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, so, I'm not redoing this just because I had that big and then I flipped around there and I didn't have it on a face. I've redone this about four times. How many how many times do you redo something before you have it just like you want it? I don't know because I find myself redoing and redoing. Okay, that's it for now. Like and subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.